Welcome back to our Force Unleashed lore play series. Last week we were instructed by Darth Vader to build an army that could distract the Emperor while we plot to destroy him. Remembering Rom Kota, we head off in that direction to recruit him. Meanwhile, Princess Leia is taken captive by the Empire despite being an Imperial Senator. She was held against her will on Kashyyyk by this guy, Captain Ozzik Stern, who hoped that holding her hostage would discourage any rebellious activity from her father, Senator Bail Organa. And by the way, check out how awesome the Royal Guards look here. I wish they never wore the capes in Return of the Jedi. But back to the main story, Galen Merrick searches the galaxy for Coda, and we finally catch up to him on Bespin. After we blinded him, he fell into despair and his connection to the Force all but disappeared. We kind of half-heartedly convince him to join us, so now we have to fight from this bar called the Vapor Room all the way back to the Rogue Shadow. And for some reason, this bar in the Outer Rim caters to some Imperial Senate guards. They were trained completely in melee combat and were armed with Cortosis staffs that also had lightsaber emitters. The Force Unleashed novel simply states that they were part of the task force sent to capture Rom Kota, but I don't know why they didn't just make a new unit instead of having them be Senate guards. Interestingly, in the later versions of this game, they are replaced by different units called Imperial Senate Sentinels, which still doesn't really make sense to me. Where are the Senators? Of course, we still have Stormtroopers running around, and... Ugnaughts? Are you serious, dude? I've been trying to leave you alone and you come at me with a bottle? Don't be a hero, bro! How about you? Are you feeling lucky, punk? Yeah, that's what I thought. Since this is on Bespin, we can expect Tabana gas to be mined, processed, and frozen in carbonite for shipping. And we can also use that carbonite to make short work of these lightsaber-wielding Royal Guard wannabes. It's just instantaneous, huh? A frozen block of person, just like that. As we near our escape, we encounter what Galen calls Uggernauts in the novel. The Ugnaughts must be mercenaries or something, but they have these walkers that were armed with a projectile launcher similar to the ATCT from earlier in the game. After beating those, we're faced with the big bad of the level, an Imperial Shadow Guardsman. Although they were trained by Darth Vader, they were agents of the Emperor. They were Force-sensitive soldiers recruited from an old Sith cult called the Sun Guard. Most of them were killed during the Clone Wars by Asajj Ventress. They were an elite special operations unit within the Royal Guard, which makes sense considering their armor, which is totally awesome. With the Shadow Guard defeated and Rom Kota safe, it's time to leave. He says he has a friend in the Senate that could use our help, but we'll save all that for next week. If you want to start this series from the beginning, you can watch this playlist here. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out my Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.